Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. This video is probably the most important video you're going to watch this week. Um, it is a team of the year investment guide and I'm not going to do what other creators have done and talk crap on my video for this. I've seen a lot of nonsense coming out of people's mouths. Uh, I'm going to base everything I, I, that I'm saying in this video on what happened last year um, and what we've seen so far on FIFA 20 uh, and just give you simple tips that you can to help you make my help make coins help you to, to best invest your, your coins in the places that I think are best place to do it. Um, as a note, if you're new around here, subscribe down below. We are on the verge of hitting 1.5k after six weeks of doing this. Um, we're one of the fastest growing FIFA YouTube channels of my size. It's nuts and thank you so much for all the support. Come join the Fuzzballers. We have, you get a training video a day, we have a good laugh. And come and follow down below and, and come to the live streams on Twitch. We have a good laugh over there as well. Uh, and don't forget, a little plug, my sub trading guide. So if you are a subscriber to me on Twitch, you get a trading guide basically. Every week you get a trading guide just to tell you what to look out for. And you get all, every single one, of the League SP sniping filters or any OP sniping filters that I'm using to make coins. You get every single one of those that goes into there, completely as, included as part of that. Um, and you get extra, extra, extra entries into giveaways and stuff like that. So it's really, really cool. But Team of the Year is coming. We all know it's the 6th of January, I think it's, it's been scheduled for. They sort of did a weird thing here where they took it off and put it back and then yeah, the, the loading screen now says the, uh, the 6th of Jan. But Team, I've seen videos of Team of the Year completely and utterly just talking nonsense. So I want to go over each of them, not myth bust them as such, because I'm basing what I'm saying on what happened last year um, and how the SPCs have gone so far this year and the methods I've told you before that have worked and I'm admitting the meth methods that don't work in my opinion. But first thing to talk about is the players themselves. So I've seen videos saying, oh, once the players are in packs, the players shoot up in value. It's bullshit. They don't. So I'll show you what happened last year. So last year's FIFA Team of the Year, this is it, maybe two seconds. This is last year's Team of the Year, right? Messi, Ronaldo, Mbappe, De Bruyne, Kante, Modric, Marcelo, Ramos, Varane, De Van Dijk, De Gea, and obviously Neymar got released later on. He was a fan vote, I believe. So that is last year's Team of the Year, right? Now, some of these players were more met than others, but they all still sold for quite a bit of money. Um, they always sold for loads of money. But I've been seeing people say, oh, they go up in value because they're out of packs. Let me show you. This is a rough graft for Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, from last year. And it sort of details the time for Team of the Year. So we're talking 1st of January, right? He sat at 2.1 million coins. And then steadily but surely, he goes down in value. Literally climbs a little bit at certain points from like 192 there. Back up a little bit to 1993. So a little rise, but nothing that's going to make any, anyone real massive value. And then he just drops off. And he keeps dropping off until February. And like he goes from being worth, at this point here, let's say, as he drops off, 1.95 to being worth... 1.69 there's no massive rise here i've seen people say there's a massive climb my advice to you is don't bother investing in these players if you think about it let's say you buy him at his lowest point here which is about 1922 if you then sell him at 1988 which is whatever sort of rough estimate of the highest price 1993 if you sell him for that you're, you're losing 90,000 coins straight away there's no profit to be made and i've seen people say oh invest, invest in these players why why would you do that kante is the other one look at kante kante January at high of 315, drops off by about 20k, climbs gradually back to where he was before, Didn't, doesn't, there's no massive rise here, we would be out of packs, and then drops off horrendously down by about 50k. Little climb back up to 260, and he sees, sort of stays around the 250, 260 mark. So anyone you see telling you go and buy these players if they go up in price, out of packs, saying, oh yeah, when they're out of packs to go up in price is nonsense. There's nothing from last year showed us that's what it did. A slight rise in Ronaldo is nowhere near enough to justify saying to invest in him. So my advice to you with these guys, if you've got them, it could be worth monitoring the market and selling them and then buying them back again at the end of the team of the year. So if you're wanting Ronaldo, people this year that are, that are meta, that are, they're probably going to get to me. We know Messi's going to get one. We know Ronaldo's probably going to get one. I don't know if Ronaldo will actually. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but someone like a Messi that sat there, Mbappe in your club possibly, Neymar, um, it could be worth selling them. I'm not going to because I use my guys, but if you're worried about them, it could be worth selling them at a peak price and then buying them back later on in the month. There's usually after team of the year, every year we see it, the market sort of doesn't crash, but it just becomes less valuable, valuable than it was. We're getting, so we've been at that point, sort of halfway through the game cycle, players become less valuable, people have more coins and stuff like that. So you could, it's just, it's, I don't know what it is, but it just is the way it goes. There's just not the value of the thing. So it could be worth you doing that. Next thing to think about are these. Now last year, EA released flashback cards, okay? And this bail was goddamn popular. Look at those stats. 97 pace, 91 dribbling, 93 shooting, 89 pass, 93 physical. I remember ne Nepo going mad about this card and using it for so long in his team. Um, what does that mean? SPCs. And it means that there are... This one was an 84 rated team for one of them. 
Uh, next one, the Premier League one was a 86 rated team. It was quite expensive. It was like a 1.2 million coin as we see this 87 rated team. But he was very, very good. Now, I've been telling you for a long while, don't pre-invest in cards. And I maintain not pre-investing in cards too often. But for this one, I would say to you, if you can snipe fodder, like 86 rated fodder in and around that, 84, 85, 86, 87 rated fodder in and around... So back in situation, I last checked a minute ago, like before I got into this, was about 15k-ish, give or take. If you can snipe him at 14s and 13s, you number one, you're covering yourself for a loss because if he sells for 15,500... 15, and you sniped him for 1400 you're still going to make a profit off of him, but at the very least, not a loss. So Rakitic could be a very good shout. But players like Rak Rakitic, Verratti, your usual SPC fodder, could be worth sniping some of it, just to build your club up a, a few of the players in there. Don't go too ham on it. I've not, not liked it this year, the SPC fodder. I think it's been a bit iffy. And the advice is, I always say to you, sell when you're happy with the profit, sell in the hype. Don't wait for the SPC to be released. If you see on on um, on Twitter, there's a leak. Look out for leaks. I'm sorry, they're, they're there. You may as well use them. It, look out for leaks and if you see a leak of oh, okay Gareth Bale's been released you know it's an expensive SPC to do judging by what he had done with SPC so far this year it's probably going to be spenny and you said you see the fact that you pay 14k for go for 17, 18, 19k sell him the error I made was not selling my Premier League players in the hype for the SP League SPC at the moment I'm sort of breaking even on them I'm just, I'm just trying to hold out on making some coins on them but selling the hype but SPC fodder could be def definitely be good even the other guy they released I'll show you him now David Silva was they made him remotely usable so people did this SPC I remember seeing him quite a lot but 85 rate and 86 rated team even if they release someone like that you can guarantee people will want to do it and the price of those the footage will go up if you buy cheap enough I'd like to try and snipe back and teach Verratti for maybe one and a half two k lower than they are right now there's nothing really on the market that's keeping them at this price this is probably a steady price to them the base eye compact probably is what's holding up some of the price but it isn't that popular base eye compact people that aren't that bothered about it but SBC fodder is massive, so go and do that. And with SBC fodder, don't just look at those sort of centre mids or whatever. Think about fullbacks, think about uh, wingers. They're always ones that you tend to see a big spike in because they're, they're few and far between that, that high rate in those positions. So that's what I would look at for, for those ones. Next thing to think about as well is within the promo so far this year, so I'm basing everything I'm, I'm doing on the promo so far this year, one of the most effective, easy ways to make coins has been non-rare golds for major leagues, okay? So if you're a league, Premier League, you type in gold, it might be difficult to get something for the Premier League at the moment because of the SBC. But non-rare golds from major leagues, I've been missing that one, but I missed it because I was too slow. Non, yeah, non-rare gold for you get discard price. So you want them as low as possible. Because what happens is, EA bring out flash SBCs, uh, squad bone tangents that are just like daily ones to give you like a gold players pack or whatever it is. People do them go mad for them. I've, I said I said at the time and people don't do it and the people that do do it listen to me see their coins double so if you go and buy those guys that you just saw there for 400 coins I was too sorry sniping them but 400 coins to those guys they will go up to 800 without a doubt and if you're lucky enough that one of the ones you've sniped and got invested in is in an SBC solution which I'll talk about in a second if you're lucky enough to see that then you will see those cards go up in price massively to 2k, 3k I guarantee you it's guaranteed profit if you buy them at discard price it's guaranteed profit Again, places to look for, right backs, left backs, left mids, right wings. But you can also rush invest in these ones. So let's say, for example, I've got one up for, I've got one up for you to, to see it. Um, let's go desktop. So this one here was minimum Italian players, one, gold players, five players in the same league, five players in the same nation, right? So chances are Italian players would have gone up in price. They did go up in price for that one. Um, we can see what the challenge was. Let's click on this one here. I don't know why I clicked on the wrong way there. This was for a gold player's bag. But this was a 4 3 3, right? So the prices would have gone up, but full backs were used, wingers were used. And you can look at that and go, okay, cool, where am I, gonna, where am I looking at what I need to be doing here? Like, Italian players are going to be a good one, people are going to need them. Right backs and left backs are going to be good, they're going to need them. And it's things like that, you can rush invest at that time when you literally sat there, you can rush invest in those players. Um, but you can also, if you pre invested in them, that's perfect. I've just shown you there that squad building challenge. And now, one thing that happens every year with these challenges is if you've got a challenge like that, and people see Gabbiadini in it, they're lazy. They'll go and buy Gabbiadini. There was there were there were bronze players going for 7k because people were too lazy to realise that it was they were in the Swiss League a little while ago. People were too lazy to realise you didn't need to use those Swiss players, you could use anyone in that position. But because people are like, oh, I'm panicking and do whatever it is, they went and bought them. And they, I had like loads of my clubs, I was selling for four, five, six, seven K at a time. So look at the solutions and go, okay, cool. They'll everyone's talking about Westwood, let me try and snap Westwood because people are using that or sell your Westwoods, but that's how you do it, that's how you make more coins, and that's how you spread your, your things, so you, 
You're spreading the coins you've got across multiple methods to make as much coins and limit your risk as much as possible. So you've got non-rare gold ready to make coins off when the FBC challenges get released. You've got FBC fodder for that big potential flashback. There's rumour of like a Marcelo, flashback, a Marcelo left back flashback. If that happens, it's nuts. There's, there's rumours of, of all that sort of stuff that's coming. Uh, rumours of really good flashback cards. Team of the Year is usually a really good promo. So that's another way you can, another way you can make coins through your SPC for that. Then what else can I be doing? Okay, cool. Well, if I've got these players, I can, I can make myself coins. I say make by selling them if I've got them now and waiting for a drop-off in value at the end of the month. I'm not going to do that because I use them and like, they're competitive players for me. But it's something that you can do. It's something without a doubt you can do to add, to add, to add value to, to your coins, uh, to add value to your team and to stop yourself from losing too much. Other thing to note, if you are opening packs for Team of the Year, if you've got packs stacked up, wait until they put all of them in packs. The chance of you packing one is slim to nothing anyway, but it's less chance packing it when it's only goalkeepers and defenders in packs or midfielders. Wait until they release absolutely every single player and it's the ultimate Team of the Week, then do it. Team of the Year, then do it. So keep stacking your packs until then and then do it. Other thing to think about as well is if you're holding on to any investments right now, so if there's anything, anyone you're thinking about, okay, cool, well, this guy here, this guy here, it might be worth going liquid now. Just get your stuff sorted out, ready to go for Team of the Year and go, okay, cool, what can I do? Now, now you've dropped the League FC investments, for example, right, I'm going to forget about those, I'm going to clear out my club, even if, for example, I'm, not, I'm going to be honest with you, there's some of the Premier League ones for me have been a bust, not, not gone so well. I might just sell them for either a loss or for what I've made them for, clear my club out, ready for Team of the Year and go, right, I'm going to put all my energy and thought process into what happens to this Team of the Year. So I'm now going to invest in non rare goals, I'm going to invest in FPC folder, I'm going to invest in this. So I've got a clean slate ready to go. But that's going to be the end of the video. I'm, I'm telling you now, I've done everything I've done here and, and taught you today is everything that I've seen from last year, everything that I've seen so far this year. Um, so yeah, please do drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new around here. For now, lads, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.